Hi friends, welcome back to our channel and I hope you are all keeping fine. As this is a season of strawberries, we would like to bring to you the recipe of making a fruit jam with fresh strawberries. You can try this recipe whenever you can get hold of some fresh strawberries and make this tasty jam for your loved ones. Make some cookies or bake some bread and relish it with your family and friends. Now let's begin with the preparation. This time I got to buy some fresh and ripe strawberries. They are very sweet and perfect for making jam. First, I am going to wash them in running water so as to remove the dirt and dust. Drain the water well. and then spread them on a kitchen towel or a tissue paper to remove the moisture completely. And in the meantime, you can get ready with the other ingredients. So in this recipe, I'm going to chop the strawberries to smaller pieces. And also, we can get fine chunks in the jam. But if you wish, you can also make puree of them and continue with the cooking. But sometimes, I prefer to do it this way to get the fresh bite of chunks in the jam. Once all the strawberries are chopped and ready, let's begin with the cooking process. Let's heat a pan at medium flame. Deep and heavy bottom pans are always better for making jam. Now we are going to add the cut pieces of strawberries to the pan. Allow to cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Toss in between with a spatula and continue the cooking. Then after about 10 to 15 minutes, we are going to add the second ingredient that is sugar. You can increase or decrease the amount of sugar based on the strawberries taken. This amount of strawberries. 
and sugar also acts as a preservative. Now just stir in and allow the sugar to melt. So we continue cooking till we get the perfect consistency. And then you will get to see the release of juice from the strawberries. Once the major portion of the juice is released, reduce the flame and then cook at low flame. This will help to prevent burning as well as destruction of the color due to overheat. And it is about 15 to 20 minutes that we can see a layer of foam with thick bubbles. So we need to keep check on this and continue cooking till the foam almost disappears. You will get to know that your jam is perfect when the color of the strawberry extract becomes thicker and darker. So keep stirring in between so as the cooking takes place evenly. Then I'm going to add a small portion of fresh lemon zest. This gives a feeling of additional freshness to the jam. Lastly, I'm also adding the extract of half a lemon. Lemon helps to prevent the crystallization of sugar so as to give the perfect jam-like consistency. And since we're not using any other preservatives and additives, lemon juice also acts as a natural preservative. It took me about 40 to 45 minutes to attain this jam-like consistency. Now based on the amount of strawberries taken, the total time can vary. To confirm the final texture, take a small portion of the jam and place it on a plate. We can assure that the jam is perfectly done when it does not flow and can hold the shape. And also remember not to overcook it as after cooling the jam can become still thicker. At this point we are done with the cooking let's off the flame. Now it's time to keep to cool. So here we have the fresh and delicious strawberry jam. Storing the jam is also very important as we're not using any preservative. If it is during winters that you're making this jam, then you can store it at room temperature for about 2 weeks to 1 month. Or in case if it is during summers or if the climate is hot and humid, then it is always preferred to keep it in the refrigerator. It stays good for about 3 to 6 months if it is handled dry and clean. I always prefer to use glass jars for this purpose. You can sterilize the glass jar or wash them in boiling water. So try this recipe whenever you can get hold of some fresh strawberries. Make some cookies or bake some bread and relish it with your loved ones. Thank you for being with us 
and hope to see you in our next video.